Saving the Ocean, a new kind of TV series featuring good news stories about the environment. Stories of hope, endurance, and innovation. Hosted by celebrated author and conservationist, Carl Safina. In every episode, we'll visit people who have solutions. So I hope you'll join me on these journeys as we meet those who are saving the ocean. In every episode, a journey to a unique place, like Glover's Reef Marine Reserve in Belize, Central America. What do you like to eat better, the nurse sharks or the black tip sharks? It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. With expert knowledge, marine biologist Safina reports and narrates these special ocean stories. The fearsome shark jaws and teeth make good tourist souvenirs. But here's the real business. Bags of dried fins. In this episode, Safina looks at the devastating shark fin trade and works with a shark research team. So Ellen's going to hold the shark asleep. OK. And you want to make the incision. Right here? We're right, right around, right around there. We are there as Safina dives to help fix the research team's shark detection instruments, and then does a little fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one gorgeous animal. And uh, this one can take a hand, no problem. Carl, will you uh, put this shark to sleep for me? All I need to do is turn it upside down, right? Yep, and you hold both fins like that. OK. And never take your eyes off the mouth. Okay. If it looks like it's going to bite you, let it go. OK, one, two, three. Bad out of hell. And in this case, it was almost a shark from hell. Watch this as it spots our underwater cameraman. The shark bit the camera, fortunately for Rick, but it wouldn't let go. This is a first. We always shoot our own underwater shots, if we can. You try to get a shot, it came right for the camera and bit it. This series is about good news, like marine reserves that work, luck, and buddy. new attitudes that matter. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge not to eat. I pledge not to eat shark fin soup. To eat. I pledge. To avoid having the appetite for soup driving sharks to extinction, people are going to have to change. And in Hong Kong, thanks to campaigns like this, it's beginning to happen. And maybe the world's scary, aggressive, beautiful, and vulnerable sharks won't just be confined to places like Glover's Reef Reserve. For Saving the Ocean, I'm Carl Safina. Saving the Ocean is now on PBS. Here's a look at our second episode. Zanzibar archipelago, and we're going from the main island of Unguja to a smaller island called Pemba. In Pemba, we're going to look at how very poor fishermen are working with a very new approach using the Islamic ethic of conservation. It's going to be something really different. Saving the ocean brings you a new look at science, at cultures, always fresh. The Imam sermon is not about saving souls. It's about saving the environment. The purpose of this sermon is to teach people uh, about environmental issues in the context of uh, Islamic perspective. In this episode, we see how a fantastic coral reef was saved. The best of Misali's spectacular coral reefs are fully protected, with no fishing of any kind allowed. Saved for tourists and local fishermen. It's one of East Africa's most important concentrations of ocean life and a proposed World Heritage Site. Accepting enforcement and the need to leave enough in the water to spawn the next generation is a big deal. In many countries, rich or poor, people don't get this. The traps are positioned on the sand between the coral heads so they don't smash the coral when they're moved. 
It's a perfect demonstration of how well the right kind of fishing at the right kind of scale can work. The catch is not large, but it's not bad either. Saving the Ocean with Carl Sathena, a series that shows the way forward. Something has started here that is very special. It's a new view of the world, a view so full of ancient reverence and modern realization that, if it spreads, just might save the ocean and the people whose survival depends on it. May it spread in peace. For Saving the Ocean, I'm Carl Safina.